the importance of working with various stakeholders is because they are able to address the different challenges that we often identify when we are working with the smallholder farmers. Taking for instance the case of today, we had previously linked these farmers with the market, but as we were engaging with them, we identified some of their challenges, which included the problem with them obtaining the certified seed and also them using the proper ways of planting potatoes. Uh, today what we did, uh, we, we had a demonstration on plantation of uh, potatoes uh, with the help from the agronomy section from the Department of Agriculture, SIDARA and uh, Potato South Africa from Pretoria. And what we did, we, we planted uh, uh, three cultivars which, is, which was uh, Electra, Mondial and uh, Panamera. So we, will, we would like to maybe to see how they perform in this area. Hence, this area is uh, poverty stricken. So we wanted to see what the potatoes will have impact on in this area. What happened today is we showed the farmers how to do the basics. For instance, firstly, we started with correct fertilization of the potatoes, and then for the for different varieties, the seed spacing for that size of seed potato. So the spacing is also very important. We have closed the potatoes, and also we're going to teach the farmers how to spray pre-emergent chemicals. And uh, once the potatoes are growing and they the right size, we'll start ridging the potatoes from both sides. At that point in time, we'll also add LAN, that is stop dressing. So we fertilized according to soil sample results. South Africa for example, nje angqala ukuthela amazamba nekade ngiwatshala amazamba nebhali ngokuqala ngiwatshala ngale ndlela. Nendlela kube deep ngayo imsele indlela ogcitshwa ngayo so thina ngiyakholela ukuthi sisenza ngale isinto esethu esafundiswa wona omkhulu salima ngeinkabi kanti bona sebasifaka more into commercial nami sengiyayibona njengomlimi ukuthi cha sengathi mangithola amandla ngayo ngayitshala even yonke le ndawo ngifaka amazambane ngoba sengnaye ID yokuthi yini efuneka emazambane ene yini efane atshalwe kanjani futhi and hopefully ne market yawo angesaba nenkinga nayo mase sesibona abantu abafana opposite to South Africa We then collaborated with the stakeholders Potato South Africa, which is the industry for the potatoes farmers, and which is why they are here today doing the demonstration, showing the farmers on how exactly are the potatoes supposed to be planted, and they're also providing the certified seed for the farmers, which is going to make the lives of the farmers easier to access the market, because now they have the certified seed, and they also now know where are they going to source their seed, and their produce will be able to be traceable in the market and I think that is going to be very beneficial for them to be able to, to, to sustain in the market. Uh, so we have planted about 0.2 of a hectare uh, just to demonstrate to the community. I think our idea of this project is to um, attend to the issues of food security. We want the community to actually go back and be able to plant potatoes in their small backyards. We know that if you have a patch of potatoes or have a bag of potatoes, you'll never go to bed hungry. So this is actually what we are trying to do with this project. We are at 
a period where even the people that trusted themselves to be food secured have now joined the group of people who are suffering in terms of food security because of the COVID. While we were mourning that kind of a state, there came the looting that was uh, last year in July. And this year in April, the KZN was flooded. So look at the, the level of the challenges of food security within this province. Now you guys came in and we're looking at so many of the stakeholders that can contribute in terms of ensuring that we are producing even to in a space that you can even say you can't. So if we get about the final put it to South Africa, but also the film clamp bus fund is in the Lok Sebenza, clamp bus is an young MBO, who was the best thing is with each other and Jane, Bessabas or Bugum Kikris or afterwards, I believe, as farmers are sent to more, sing a cool, as she shinted a cool, send the gang on of words. We will also monitor the project and make sure that the right chemicals are applied and the right practices to get a good crop. And once we finish at the harvesting time, we would should have an information day again, showing the people access to marketing. Marketing is also something that uh, people must be introduced to, because obviously if they do it correct, they're going to have more potatoes and that can uh, for food security. So they will have to market the potatoes somewhere. Obviously, going forward, we want to expand in this area. We want black commercial potato farmers to come from this region. So I think by starting off like this, we are hoping that we will generate interest amongst the community members and we'll be able to get people that are going to plant potatoes on a commercial level. Uh, I would really, I would love this to continue in different localities. Hence, most of the people who are, are, are around here, uh, they, they, they do purchase uh, uh, seed potatoes from Greytown. Uh, uh, I think one, one, of, one of the projects that we have on the seeds were here, they bought almost 300 uh, potato seeds for the plantation in the current year. So I think it has got a huge uh, potential and we can see that it will grow maybe in few years to come. With the right information and the right people, I think this can, it's, it's going to grow. <laughs>